Adjusting Stock to Sight in Blunderbuss, William Hovey Smith, 2013. I'm the author of Extreme Muzzleloading and have been hunting with Blunderbuss, and we had to tape all kinds of stuff on it to adjust the point of aim. Well, now we're attaching something permanent. I'm at the live Oak Sportsman's Club near Columbia, South Carolina, with trusty Blunderbuss. And some changes have been made. We have attached here a wooden cone, and we are going to target this gun on yonder target and see what it does. In all probability, I'm going to have to take some off the top of this cone and get it to shoot to the point of aim, because this is how you actually sight in a smoothboard gun, even if it doesn't really have any sights out front. So we're going to be about that, and I'm going to shoot this piece of plywood over here and we'll see where this thing actually patterns. We have had events. So let's see how we did. I was aiming at the center of the target and this is a mix of number six and number eight shot. That would seem to be more or less the center. But since this is a cylinder board gun, the target is quite loose. So I was standing about 20 yards away. So this is the distance I have to have a turkey to kill it. Well, we're going to go out and see if we can shoot some sporting clays with it now. Fellow outdoor writer Harry Guire and I took a look at this target and guess what we decided? At 20 yards, that pattern will kill turkey. Guaranteed. Yes, sir. I then started shooting oh. sporting clays, but with no particular success. Every time we shot, I'd take the rasp and take some more off the comb, and then we'd shoot again. Well, we haven't been able to hit any fly. We'll see if we can ground sluice of you. I think we did. Besides extreme muzzleloading, I have other books like Backyard Deer Hunting, Converting Deer to Dunner for Pennies per Pound, Crossbow Hunting, Practical Bow Fishing, and these are also all available as e-books. Now, I wound up taking about a quarter inch of wood off the comb of that stock before I was satisfied that the blunderbuss would actually shoot to the point of aim. Now, with this rough shaping done, I could now refinish the entire stock, and the next video will be about doing that. For information about my books, blogs, and videos, go to www.hoviesmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless.